Sports Tuesday night presentation of NBA basketball. This is Kevin Harlan. Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr by my side. Doris Burke will be reporting from the sidelines. And now a quick check of our starting lineups for both teams. First for the Knicks. They've got Tosh Gibson. He'll be battling under the boards to get the job done, both on offense and defense. And it's Randall into the four slot. And then for the Philadelphia 76ers. You know, the Knicks got off to a fast start, but when you employ as many old bodies as they did last year, it's hard to sustain the level of play you need over the course of a full season. It's one reason they started to falter a bit late in the year. So here we go, the 76ers to start it. And Simmons kicks to Harris. Shoots from 12. And good on the basket. Look at Harris has got the first points of the night for Philadelphia. And he's on the board early. The first to strike there. Nice hoop. Peyton drives in. Now the dish to Gibson. New York moving it around. Inside. And there's the call by the official. They'll count the basket here following the goaltending call. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. And you can hear the reaction of the fans to that call. Well, it's obvious they did not like it, Steve. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. I was able to catch up with the head coach of the 76ers. When we talked about what they'll try to do on defense, he told me they're going to have to do everything they can to neutralize their opponent's high flyers, saying, quote, we can't play above the rim like these guys, so we'll have to do our best to keep them away from the hoop. Gentlemen, easier said than done. Great. Thanks for the report, Doris. Philadelphia with the ball. And he knocks down the jumper. Richardson's got his first points of the night. Heads up play there, guys, on the assist and the finish. Now here's Peyton, defended by Simmons. Here's Barrett. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. They can't afford to give him that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you got to fight over the top of that. Here's Simmons from 11 feet away. And again, it's Philadelphia. Very well done. He is a confident, dynamic scorer. Number 11, Richardson cover. Baden outside. Six to shoot. Back to Gibson. Pass to Randall. Harris is there. The 10 footer. Cut the bucket. Really nice work inside there. He'll always give you a battle on the interior, guys. For Philadelphia, they've gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Number 30. It's rebounded by New York. Down low. He has a highlight reel unto himself, guys. Yeah, wow. That, that could very well be a contender for dunk of the year and perhaps might make its way all over the internet. I'm ah. with you. I'm with you, Clark. That's a crowd pleaser if I've ever seen one. Here's Simmons. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Their whole defense is better just with him being out there, Kevin. His ability to know exactly what's going on, to communicate, to be in the right position. And he's a great example for his teammates to follow. And Steve, you know, he's also got the full arsenal of moves in the post. I mean, you can't believe how many tricks this guy has up his sleeves. He's full of them. 
I think it's fair to say that the top of the Eastern Conference has been getting tougher over the last few seasons. Unfortunately for the Sixers, they've headed the other direction. They've been going south, and it's part of why they were on the outside of the playoffs looking in. He hits the second from the line. And back to what you were saying, Clark, about uh, Philadelphia going through a lot of roster changes last year. You're right, in a season where a lot of other teams in the East put it all together. Steve, bad timing for Philadelphia. Yeah, bad time. Roster changes and injuries, of course. I mean, the big trade for Bynum looked like it was going to be uh, something that could help them get to the top of the East, but Bynum never played a single game for them. And so it's understandable why Philadelphia struggled. Number 11. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. Assistant. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Richards in the pass to Harris. True on the 14 footer. Harris has got the second basket of the night. You know, he's got a quick trigger from that range when he senses that the defense has backed off. Ball's not loose. And they're on the break. And laid in to finish the break. Harris has got six. Well, that's the easiest opportunity an offense can get off a of steal. Exactly. No defense for that. And stolen by Richardson. Out to Harris. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Little touch of class there, guys. The end of that play with the finger roll. Knicks trail by three. Number 11, Richardson cover. Passes it to Barrett. Five on the clock. Good on the three-point shot. He has five. Beautiful feed off the bounce to his teammate there. Nicely done. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. Well, there's a new ownership group in Philadelphia as of 2011. In this offseason, they pulled the trigger and brought in new leadership in the front office. Looks like they're jumping on the analytics bandwagon, hiring the former brain trust of the Houston Rockets. The 76ers have gone 6 of 8 in the game so far. A very solid start for them. Number 30. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. And back to the Sixers. I guess for the Wall Street ownership group, going mathematical is something they were, you know, stay pretty comfortable with. That's well, something that a lot of teams are going to now, Kevin. Uh, you know, the new owners, a lot of them uh, businessmen, they want to turn to math to try to figure this whole thing out. Bottom line, though, is it, it's a combination. It's not just stats. It's talent, stats, chemistry, coaching, a lot of things that goes into winning. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively so far. Yeah, I think that could really set things up well the rest of the game. Pound the ball inside and then let your perimeter players play off your bigs. And so here is New York. 76ers getting the bucket. No good from Barrett. Back to Richardson. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Number 30. Another three for Philadelphia. Their offense already flowing. Some stellar shooting while jumping out to this lead. Well, high quality shots, and they've been on target with them. And so here is New York. They trail by six. Number 11. And this is it off the right side of the rim. Philadelphia's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Clark, this offense has really been clicking. No doubt about it. Giving the defense all kinds of trouble. And they're playing with so much energy offensively. The ball is really moving. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. Yeah, they're making the right play. They're working together. And they're just looking for the best shot they can every possession. And a whole new group out on the floor right now for the Knicks. Mm -hmm. 
Knicks trail by eight. Will it go? Kept alive by New York. Number one. He dishes it to Robinson. And so he earns it. To the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. And the defense fouling there to prevent that layup, forcing two free throws here. A nice job that time of attacking the paint and drawing the contact. They'll take that. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the 76ers. They've been making some really nice passes out there. Excellent pass, and that could set the tone for the rest of the game. Well, the other thing I like is defensively they're causing turnovers, and that's allowing them to get into transition. It had been almost two decades since the Knicks had finished atop the Atlantic Division, guys, and since the most recent alignment changes in 04, they had never finished first. But that changed last year. And he's good on the second. Yeah, the Atlantic title had just gone between the Nets and the Celtics for the last 11 or so seasons, but finally, the Knicks were able to reach the top, and they did it in a year, Steve, where the division was loaded with good teams. Yeah, no doubt. You know, the Celtics, Nets, and Knicks, uh, pretty, pretty good, solid teams there. And, uh, I, I thought the Knicks had an excellent season all in all, but in New York, the expectations are high, and they want more than just an Atlantic division title. What a start to this game. The offense is both dominating. Tell you what, feels like a game on the playground. Forget about defense, just keep firing. And it's the 76ers with the ball. Leading by five. Scott dishes to Horford. Puts it up from seven. Gets the bucket. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. I agree. They need more energy in the post, maybe some double teaming. They've got to get their defense in gear. Number one. The shot will not go. And it's Philadelphia the other way. Kicks it to Horford. Again, Philadelphia. And the defense just couldn't get a hand in his face. Couldn't challenge the shot. Yeah, made his height advantage count that time. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They gotta find some. You're right. Kept alive. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. Nice early advantage for them on the glass, guys. You know, part of rebounding well early is just going after the ball and boxing out. I mean, establishing that tone so that you can maintain it later in the game. The Knicks making a switch here. Harkless has checked in. We've got 22 seconds left here in the first quarter. Outside, Scott. He feeds it to Horford. Fires from 18. That's good. Horford's got six. Number 21. He got it up that time, but it wouldn't fall for him. The basket's coming early and often in the first quarter. 76ers lead by eight. Live right. from Philadelphia, you're watching 2K Sports. Yeah. And now the second quarter just getting set to start. And guys, what's your take on the 76ers so far? Solid first quarter for this club. They came out strong and they put together some nice momentum here. Steve, I like the looks they've gotten on offense. A lot of good ones. Knicks trail by eight. Number five, guarded by Horford. 
drops in the layup for two. I'll tell you what, the defenders didn't even get a sniff of him on that move to the hoop. Outside, Scott. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. Boy, he just battled through that initial impact and somehow willed it in. Excellent concentration. That's what you like to see. And Philadelphia making a change here. O'Quinn's checked in. A well, free throw off from Scott. Boy, 76ers had a season they'd like to soon forget. But the one thing they were able to do last year was win at home. The thing, too, given how unforgiving Philadelphia fans can be. No tougher sports fans in all of sports than Philadelphia. And back to the 76ers at home. Never a good idea to be under 500 at home in a city that has booed Santa Claus before. Steve, luckily, they were able to avoid that going 23-18 and 18 here last season. Well, maybe Santa Claus had a bad year that year, Kevin. I don't know. But look, I mean, if, if you're stinking it up in front of Philly fans, they're going to let you know. I mean, they're going to boo you. They're, they're brutally honest. On the flip side, though, when you play well, I mean, they're going to back you. Al Horford, he's checked in for Mike Scott. And the second throw, good. You can't be the number two seed in the East by being mediocre on the road. I mean, the Knicks had a veteran group, and they all had the mental fortitude and experience to finish off games on the road last season. Horford, no luck. And that's a shot he had to take. For sure, it was a good decision, just poor execution. Number 20. Out of bounds, Philadelphia takes possession. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. The 76ers leading by seven. Snatched away. Number five. Oh, that's blocked. No good with the layup. It just hasn't been a very good day for him, guys. They need him to start burying some of those. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. To the middle. Here's O'Quinn. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. Mark, as you said, the Knicks were one of the tougher teams on the road, and their road record was, you know, what uh, separated them, Steve, from the middle of the pack in the East. Yeah, 23 road wins, second only to the Heat in the East. It's interesting, Kevin. Yeah, they relied so heavily on threes that you know, sometimes on the road they'd go cold, but they, they could also get hot in a hurry, and they were able to avoid a, a bad spell. I think it's safe to say, guys, that the Atlantic Division was one of the tougher ones in the East last year, if not all of the NBA, but both New York teams improved and Boston made the playoffs as usual. Philly was able to hold their own, though, even in a down year. Number 20, the finger roll finish at the bucket. They have repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and it's paid dividend. Yeah, it sure has, Clark. I mean, with, with as many points as they've gotten in the paint, they really haven't had to do much on the perimeter. Philadelphia leading by eight. Back to Horford. Feeds it to O'Quinn. From the line, and the jumper is good. Well, Clark, as you said, Philadelphia did remain respectable against the rest of the Atlantic Division, even in a lost season. Steve, they had a 7-9 record for them, and, and even while they weren't 500, they certainly played better against the Atlantic Division than they did outside the Atlantic. Yeah, and I think a big part of that is because there's some deep-seated rivalries between teams like uh, Philly and Boston and New York. So even if a, a team like the Sixers is struggling, their fans are going to bring it on those nights when the rivals come to town. Knicks trail by 10. 
punch some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. I don't know if it's just me, but he's looked a step slow since the start of the quarter. His shooting has really suffered. And here are the 76ers now. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest. Horford lets the three fly. Bullock with the rebound. Some nice passing by New York here. Number five. No good off the back of the rim. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. Back to Horford. NATO defended by Bullock. Shot clock at six. Horford gets to a quick. Let's it go from 11. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. The Knicks making a switch here. Robinson's checked in. Knicks trail by 10. Number five, defended by Simmons. Number five, an amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Seven points in the game. 76ers have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Here's Simmons, the 15-footer. Good. Simmons got his third bucket of the night. Sometimes folks forget about his decent mid-range jumper. He can knock those down all game, given the chance. Dishes to Harkless. And it's O'Quinn with the rebound. O'Quinn's got three rebounds so far in the game. And the pass to Simmons. Number 22. Connects from three-point range. Well, I'm not necessarily a big fan of him shooting that shot, but they did give him the space. Number five, defended by Simmons. Number five. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. He's got ten. Well, it looks like he's finally found his footing in this game. His first quarter was uh, a real struggle, but he's got it going now. Here's O'Quinn. Out of bounds, New York takes possession. The Knicks making a switch here. Knicks trail by 10. Poke loose and stolen by Richardson. And now Philadelphia on the break. Textbook example there of the new defense. To create off the yes. beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Yeah, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. Pass to Barrett. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. A lot of high hopes for the Knicks in last year's playoffs. They started off so hot, but then let the series against Boston drag on and on and eventually went to seven games and they fell to the Pacers in the second round after that for New York they have made three of five free throw attempts and they averaged about 77 percent uh, from the free throw line a year ago so this is a, a solid free throw shooting team and you know a lot of times guys in some of their performances last year their free throw numbers helped them win games and the Boston series did drag on them you could tell you wonder if they were a bit fatigued going into that Pacers series Steve, Indiana just outplayed him, outworked him in, in every way in the second round. Yeah, I think it was a factor, Kevin, and really the Knicks have only themselves to blame. They had Boston down 3-1 and a home game to close it out, but they couldn't get it done, and there's no doubt that that affected them against Indiana in the next series. That one misses. The 76ers leading by 11. The feed to Richardson. Number 30, a 
another three for Philadelphia. Well, he's a spot-up shooter, one of the best. And one of those guys who, if you give him an inch, I mean, that's all it takes. He will let it fly and frequently knock down that shot. And the consistency of his jump shot is another thing we should say about him. I mean, it doesn't matter how many defenders are flying at him, his stroke is never changing. And here are the Knicks now. It's a 14-point game. Peyton outside. Hits the jumper in space. Peyton's got his second basket of the game. For Philadelphia, they've gone 7 for 10 here in the second quarter. They'd like to keep up that nice pace. He kicks it to Simmons. Number 30. And he's good on the three ball. 12 points for him. You gotta make a defensive adjustment here because he's just destroying them from three-point range. Well, even when they've closed out on him, Steve, he's knocking them back. And the Knicks with possession here. Down by 15. Launches it. Blocked. But he stays with it. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam up strong off the offensive rebound what a play they can cut this lead down if they start converting more of their second points i'm with you there yeah but you wonder where were those earlier they're just hustling more now and it's the 76ers with the ball the knicks making the shot number 21 and stolen by peyton Plenty of space. Kept alive by New York. Number 11. Off target from three-point range. He hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. It's tipped. The 11-footer. And again, it's Philadelphia. 59 seconds left in the first half. Peyton passes to Randall. Back to Peyton. He passes to Barrett. That's in. Coming off an assist from Peyton. Peyton's got four assists in the game. Now you threaten the defense inside and then find the open man on the outside. Good offense. There's 45 seconds left in the first half. Simmons dishes to Harris. Pass to Simmons. Takes the 13-footer. That's good. Simmons got 10. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves here. Tries to save it. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Six on the shot clock. Here's Barrett. And it's off from three-point range. Here's Richardson. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. And that one's good. He is feeling it. A terrific percentage from the field. Here's Randall. That misses, but it counted had it gone in. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. 76ers ahead. They lead by 18. A sprint halftime show with Damon Bruce is coming up next. Then it'll be on to the third quarter. We'll see you then. Now, presented by Sprint. We're happy to be with you this Tuesday night. Keep it here on 2K Sports as we break down the first half. A great team effort so far by the 76ers. And if you like scoring, you love their first half of basketball. They're putting up points, doing it rapidly, in a variety of ways. It's hard to slow them down. Tobias Harris making the most of his minutes. How's that for a shooting percentage? 100. Yes, 100% from the court. Not too bad. The Knicks on the other side, not looking as crisp. Their outside scoring is letting them down so far. And without that threat from outside, their offense is bogging down, unable to spread the floor. That'll be all for this episode. It's in the books. I'm all done reading. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the second half.
the Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Welcome back to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the statue of its founder, William Penn, our view. And so here is New York. It's an 18-point game. Peyton passes to Randall. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. The defense has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. Boy, I'd like to know how many of their attempts have come from inside five feet. It seems like everything is right at the rim. Now here is Harris. Gets it to go. Harris has got 10 points in the game. You know, I'd like to see more of that from him. He's been passing up his shot more than usual, even though he's hitting the ones he takes. He's got to be more aggressive. Here's Peyton. They trail by 18. No good from Randall. Usually, if he gets to the rim, he's converting it into points. But the defense stood tall there. Let's it go with a three. Another three for Philadelphia. And that's another assist for a team that is putting on a clinic on how to share the ball. I just love the mentality they've had. If the shot isn't there, they're not forcing anything, but moving it side to side and working to get a good shot. Offensive rebound. Pass to Peyton. New York moving the ball around. The pass to Barrett. Back to Peyton. Launches a three. The shot's good from Barrett. He's got 10. That shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed. They've got to get more intense. Just over a minute and a half have passed here in the third quarter. Harris outside. There's the dish to Simmons. Out of bounds. New York takes possession. Boy, just a brain cramp, guys. I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. New York calls timeout. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. He dishes it to Peyton. Shot's good. Peyton's got six points. Well, he's really stood out for his club today. Even though they're struggling a little bit, he's doing his part. Harris kicks to Richardson. And out of bounds as the Knicks gain possession. Knicks trail by 16. Peyton outside. Off the mark there with a the three-point shot. Boy, he'd like to have that one back. Kicks to Harris. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. 12 points for him. Well, when you think about instant offense, his name comes to mind immediately. Doesn't take much for him to get it going and run off a string of buckets. And you know what, Steve? His teammates love playing with him because he gets them so many assists thanks to his catch and shoot ability. A lot of his buckets come right off the pass. Boy, that was impressive. Major height disadvantage, but he still got the shot up over his man. Well, he's got the poise to handle any matchup, and he's not easily intimidated. You could see that there. The Knicks have missed a few free throws up to this point, shooting 4-7 from the foul line tonight. Oh, no, no. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Number 30. Another three for Philadelphia. They're getting a bunch of their points outside of the paint. Three of their last five buckets are from three-point range. But the defense isn't making them earn it. I mean, those shots have just come on easy, open looks. Now here's Peyton. Six points for him. 
Number 11, Richardson cover. Just five to shoot. Good! He's got 13. I'll tell you what, he's enjoyed a very good day shooting the ball so far. He can bring them right back into this. The 76ers leading by 15, and Simmons kicks to Richardson. Number 21, and Gibson sends it down. Out of bounds, New York takes possession. The Knicks making a switch here. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Pass to Barrett. From outside the arc, that drops. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically, no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good there. To the inside. Leaps for it. Number 21, defended by Gibson. It's rebounded by Peyton. New York with the ball. They're on a 14-5 run. Lots of room. No good from Barrett. Well, I think he was surprised by how much space he had there and just rushed the shot a little bit. Here's Richardson. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Very close to a three-point play right there. Yeah, that didn't go down, but those are exactly the plays coaches like to see. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for the 76ers. Guys, the passing we've seen from them has been tremendous. Very unselfish. And they continue to knock down the long-range three-point shot as well. And New York making a change here. And Richardson drops them both. He's always been extremely reliable at the line, and today's been no different. Knicks trail by 14. Number 11, defended by Simmons. The 10 footer. And there are the Knicks with another bucket. That's what has to happen if they're going to turn this thing around. He's got to take charge. He's got to be aggressive and really look to push here offensively. Richardson kicks to Scott. Makes the lead pass. Number 21. Makes a big high pounce and goes in. He's got seven. What oh, a beautiful assist. That's a couple of teammates clearly on the same page. Tipped away. And now Harris running the floor all by himself. Pushes it down to finish the break. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal. Active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. And the Knicks with possession here. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. Free throw line jump shot. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. And they have to mix it up defensively. That was just too easy. Richardson with it. He feeds it to Simmons. Dishes to Harris. He kicks to Richardson. 76ers moving the ball around. Shoots from 12. Again, Philadelphia. I like the way they've played here in the first half. Just an intelligent floor game, getting good shots. Numbers certainly back that up. They're shooting a much better percentage. And so here is New York. They trail by 16. Here's Barrett. And he dumps it down. Grown man's power flush with the long hang on the rim at the end of it. Clark, that could be a catalyst for him. I think you're right. Well, we've seen these kind of plays get them going in the past, that's for sure. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Free throw off from Barrett. Moves back up. And it's good on the way in. Six points for him. 
Now you let a guy sneak by for a putback, that's going to drive a coach crazy. And there's a minute 45 left in the third quarter of the game. That is good. 24 points for him. This is unbelievable. What a shooting exhibition we're seeing out there today. Number 11, defended by Simmons. Number 11, and again, New York with the triple. With the success they've been having from the three-point line since halftime, I'll bet you that scoreboard starts to look a lot different real soon. Of course, they have to stay hot, but if they do, I think you're right, Clark, particularly if they can convert defense into offense. Simmons. It's rebounded by New York. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get too many better looks from that range. It's hauled in by Harris. Philadelphia leading by 12, and Simmons kicks to Richardson. Gives him a lead pass. That's good from Harris on the assist by Richardson. Harris has got eight here in the quarter. While they're winning the speed game, guys, getting out in transition. Well, I like the energy they play with offensively and in the open court. Tremendous flow. And so here is New York. Passes it to Randall. And it's blocked by Scott. 29 seconds left to play here in the third. Harris with it. Now defended by Randall. Harris kicks to Scott. A jump hook, and again, it's Philadelphia. Knicks trail by 16. Knocked away, and it's out of bounds to the Knicks as New York retains possession. We've got 13 seconds left in the third. Number one. Traps in the train. An unusual skill set for a big man. The long range shot uh, gives you such good spacing offensively. Number 30. Again, Philadelphia. Number 11. No good. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double digit ball game. 76ers lead by 15 and will return shortly. And we're rolling here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. Here's Simmons. Feeds it to Horford. This one for three. Another three for Philadelphia. Mixed trail by 18. Baden outside. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. And he knocks down the first one. Richardson, he's checked in for Philadelphia. on that one so he goes one for two at the line the 76ers leading by 17 to the paint Douglas with the steal Peyton outside now the feed to Harkless Harkless gets a screen from Robinson Harkless with the bucket 
The second he got around the pick and shook his man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy do. Very, very well done. Number 21, guarded by Robinson. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. At the line for your 76ers, number 21. At the line for two. First free throw is good. And the 76ers making a change here. Simmons has checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. Boy, still waiting for their first miss from the foul line this half. 100% since halftime, is that right? I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon if that keeps up. Here's Bullock, and stolen by Richardson. And here we go, Richardson. Oh, 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 oh a huge play. Putting on a show for these people. I cannot believe he pulled that one out in the course of an actual game. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Might as well flaunt it if you've got it, Clark. We've seen a lot of silly plays like that out of them today. Just way too many. And a new group in for the Knicks. Fourth quarter now, we're about a minute and a half in. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Number 21. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. Terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the hit. That's how you do it. The bump and the bucket. Fourth quarter gone now. Gibson with the screen on Richardson. Number 11, Richardson cover. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Randall. From the top of the key, he buries it. Here's Simmons. It's stolen. Gibson inside. Oh, 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 shaking. What a smooth finish. Well, he's certainly the one they want on the end of those breaks. He always finishes strong. Philadelphia leading by 18. Richardson kicks to Horford. Number 21. Barry is the easy one. And that was very confident offense right there. The Knicks have gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. There at the pass to Peyton. Shoots off the step back. They get it back. And terrific work on the offensive glass when he picks up two. Well, that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active, be energetic, and react as soon as the shot goes up. And Philadelphia calls time here. And Philadelphia making a change here. Here's Richardson. He passes to Simmons. Number 30. Another three for Philadelphia. You're hot, you're hot. This is unbelievable. Knicks trail by 21. Peyton outside. Here's Barrett. 
trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. It's picked off. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the basket. He didn't get to that one quite in time, Kevin. Those can be tough to gauge sometimes. Can you hear the, the crowd kind of murmuring? I don't think they agreed with the officials on that one. Steve, I tell you what, they're really letting them have it. Here's Simmons. Number 30. Nailed from three-point land. He's got 32. That's two bombs in a row from long range. Yeah, shoddy defense there. Far too slow to react on the closeouts. There's the pick. And there's the pass to Randall. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Well, since we hit half number two, he's finally come around. The first half was not his best, obviously. Number 21, defended by Gibson. Number 21, and it's off the back rim, no good. What was the defense doing there? I mean, he is not the guy to give an open look to, and yet they got away with it. Number 11, gets the three-pointer to fall. Here's Simmons. Pass to Horford. He dents the rim with a two-handed slam. None of the defenders wanted anything Clark to do with him on that chance. I do not blame him at all, partner. He was coming in with a bunch of steam and was ready to posterize whoever decided to get in his oh, way. All right, I understand, fellas, but come on. You've got to challenge him a little bit at least. Pass to Barrett. But Trey, that's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. Peyton's got six assists now in the game. Well, you can sense the urgency with them now. I mean, right here, they're flat in the first half. But they come out here in the second half with a lot more fire and a lot more intensity. You can see they're driven to get things done. And that one's good, Simmons. And I'll say this about him, Kevin. I mean, it looks like he's made of rubber sometimes because defenders just bounce off him when he's driving the lane. What a finisher. You know, one of his other qualities, Steve, is how quick he starts to break. I mean, he doesn't need numbers either. He can be a coast-to-coast, rack-to-rack guy all by himself. Tobias Harris is checked in for Al Horford. Philadelphia on D. Number 11, defended by Simmons. Back to Gibson. And it's blocked. There's the dish to Harris. Number 30. And the 76ers tack on two more. He has really punished these defenders today. No matter who's been on him, he's been given a medicine. They're at the pass to Peyton. And it's blocked. He dishes it to Richardson. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Time to turn out the lights on this game. I think they deserve a ton of credit for the way they played here today. Truly a professional display. Minute 42 left in the fourth. Number five, defended by Simmons. Passes to Bullock. Five to shoot. New York needs to get off a shot. And the Knicks miss again. 
You know, even though he missed that three-point shot, I think the defense has to do a better job of challenging the shot. Yeah, because you know if you continue to give up open looks like that, you're in big trouble. Here's O'Quinn. The 17-footer goes down. When it rains, it pours. Another jump shot tickles that twine. Yeah, they've got it flowing right now, guys. They're putting together a nice little run. For New York, they've gone 8 of 13 from the field since the start of the fourth, sinking the majority of their shots. To end the run, Bullock, good. Philadelphia's gotten off to a great start from three-point range in the final quarter. They're a perfect three of three. Number 22, defended by Bullock. 11 feet away, and the 76ers tack on two more. A serious game-clinching run. They've taken off here. Impressive. No backing off. What a surge at the right time. And the Knicks with possession here. Stolen. Now the 76ers with it. They're on a 13-5 run here. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's O'Quinn. Gets it to go. And the fans loving what's transpired here tonight. A really good victory for these guys. Sure was. I mean, they did just what they needed to do to keep the visitors from getting any momentum going at all. Number one. On the three off target. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. They put on a show tonight thoroughly controlling each end of the floor. Hey, what more can you add? And that'll do it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burt. This is Kevin Owens saying so long and thanks for joining us as we leave you with the Jordan player of the game.